Quartiles, by definition, are values that divide the list of numbers into quartiles. Now, in statistics, we will learn how to organize number graphically and numerically. Now, we're going to do a graphical display on how we will organize our set of numbers into quarters. And the steps in finding the quartiles or creating um, a four-partition four list in your uh, unorganized list will be as follows. So you have the first step, since it's an, or, an organized list, we're going to rearrange our numbers from the increasing order. So from the smallest number to the highest number. So that is the first step, ordering or arranging your numbers from least to greatest. Now, after you arrange your number from least to greatest, you can do step number two, which is finding the median of your list of numbers. So the median let's say you have listed your numbers from least to greatest, the median is basically the middle value of your number, so all you need to do is to count and find out the middle value of the list of numbers and you will find your median. That will be your step number two for finding your quartiles. Now step number three is locating the first quartile. Now the first quartile is basically the median of your first half. So given your list of numbers arranged from least to greatest, you found your med median in the middle, now you have your first half and your first half will be your first quartile and you will find the middle of that first half to get your step number two. And if you found your uh, median for the first half, you will also know how to locate the third quartile which is located on the second half of your list of numbers. So this is your first half, the second half, and the middle of your second half will be your quartile three. And if you will see this display right here, this is how your quartiles will look like after you have done step one through step number four. So you have your Q1, your median, and your Q3. Now let's have an example on how to construct our quartiles from a given list of values. So in this example, we have Barry Bonds home run hits. And the list of Barry Bonds home run hits during a season will be as follows. So for that particular season, Barry Bonds had a home run hits of 16, 19, up until 73. So the first step in finding or rearranging or organizing a Barry Bonds home run hits is to arrange it from least to greatest. And here's the arrangement of Barry Bonds home run hits from least to greatest. So 16, 19, 24, 25, up until 73. Now the second step will be to find the middle value or the median of Barry Bonds home run hits. And the middle value here is between 34 and 34. Now Q1 is the median of your first half of your list of values. So the middle part of the first half will be between 25 and 25 because it's an even number of observation. Now if we have our Q1, we are also going to find our Q2 by finding the median of the second half. And the Q2, I mean Q3, of your second half will be 40 and 42. Since there are two numbers between 40 and 42, you'll have to add them up and divide by two to get your quartile three. So therefore, after computing for your Q1, median, and Q3, your Q1 will be 25, your median will be 34, and for your quartile three, it will be 41. So that will be the numbers for our quartiles after doing our steps. So now we have our quartiles, now we are ready to construct our box plot. Now box plot, by definition, is a graphical display of, of your quartiles, including the minimum and the maximum value. Now it's also known as the five number summary in statistics, and once you found your five number summary, you're ready to construct your box plot. Now this is an example of a box plot, and uh, the parts of a box plot, it has its minimum value at the very end. Now you have your box right here, and in your box, it will represent your quartiles, which is your Q1, your median, and your Q2. And you also have your maximum value of your observation, also known as your maximum. Now let's have an example on how we can construct a box plot from Barry Bonds home run hits. So from uh, Barry Bonds home run hits, we have his five number summary, and we are listing its minimum, its Q1, its median, Q3, and the maximum. And the five number summary is at the bottom of your screen, which is 16, 25, 
34, 41, and 73. So now that we have our five number summary, we are ready to construct our box plot by using those numbers. Now for those numbers, we're just going to uh, arrange the numbers and construct the box plot that I've shown you a while ago. And after constructing your box plot, it will look something like this. Now you have your box and you have your whiskers. So the very last end of your plot will be your minimum, which is 16. Now in your box will be your Q1, your median, and your Q3. So the edge of the box will be your quartile 1, which is 25. The middle will be 34. And the other end will be your 41, which is your quartile 3. And the very far end of your box plot will be your maximum number, which is Barry Bond's maximum home run hits for that particular season, which is 73. And that is how we represent Barry Bond's home run hits by using a graph also known as the box and whiskers or box plot.